Hi guys. So Mason has had strep throat for the past couple of days and I'm feeling much better now. Um, so we're gonna have some upcoming herping videos. But for today, I just wanna show you guys about a really cool animal. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about the Eastern box turtle. <coughs> Now the eastern box turtle is a very common turtle species here in North Carolina. They are, uh, they're very interesting because of their shell pattern in my opinion. It's very beautiful. Um, if the subspecies vary between this orangish yellow mottling all over their shells. But first, um, these guys are omnivores. They were typically insects, small invertebrates, um, ants, pretty much anything small, and mostly small invertebrates, and small berries and leaves. But an interesting fact, their current leading predator isn't a hawk or fox, we think it is. It's actually fire ants. Interestingly enough, these guys will wander into fire ant territory, either on top of a nest or near one. And then these guys, since they're shell, they can, hence the name, box themselves in. They are, it's they're special because they have two different hinges. Um, this is the bottom part, and the top part did not come with the specimen someone found. But anyway, um, those, it doesn't close tight enough, unfortunately, to protect from smaller invaders, such as fire ants. So the fire ants, they just kind of slowly get in and quite literally eat it inside out which is very sad, but it is a natural order. But um, for wolf, I shouldn't say that, fire ants are actually an invasive species. They were changed from South America, and I believe they were brought in from lumber shipments. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, so in the last part of this video, I'm gonna tell you how to sex these guys. So on the part conveniently that I that came with this specimen, on the male, this is a female, um, they will have a notch in the bottom of their shells that will look like someone pressed their thumb in it. So someone, those only the males, this one as you can see does not have that, so it is a female. But those are for the males, and then the second part is the color of their eyes. Males will have a uh, red uh, coloring, and females will have orange coloring. So, very interesting differences among the species. But yeah, hope you have a good rest of your day. New hoping videos, as I said at the beginning, coming soon. Please like and subscribe if you can. And other than that, happy Mother's Day. Bye.